Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Carvera Air tutorial video. And in this one, we're looking at how to use the manual XYZ with the Carvera Air desktop CNC. Now in most circumstances and most projects that you're gonna complete, you're probably gonna use the wired Z probe that's included with every Carvera Air and one that we've looked at in our other tutorial videos and guides. As discussed in these tutorials, the wired Z probe can be loaded like any bit and can be used to determine the thickness or Z height of your stock and also run a perimeter through the scan margin feature. But in some cases, you might wanna use the manual XYZ probe instead. This might be when you're using oddly shaped stock or when fixing stock with manual positions or fixtures like a vise, or perhaps when you're running a job on multiple sides of a stock which requires a flip or rotation mid job. In these instances, you might find that the more traditional XYZ probe is a better way to set your origin positions as you prepare a job on the Carvera Air. So let's look at how you could do this. The first thing we need to do is clamp our stock onto the bed of the Carvera. You can clamp your stock outside the assigned anchor positions as well. We now need to choose a tool to use for the manual probing sequence. And the Carvera Air is shipped with a test probe, a cylindrical tool with no cutting features, which is ideal for this scenario. You can use any tool that you'd like for this, but the test rod's parameters are already preloaded in the Carvera controller by default. If you choose to use a different tool, ensure that you know its height and diameter. We also recommend that you remove the dust shoe from the manual XYZ probing sequence so that it does not obstruct the tool or affect the probing block. So after loading our tool, we then need to move the head of the Carvera over so it's above our stock to start the probing sequence. In the Carvera controller app, use the jogging controls to move the position of the head so it's roughly over the bottom left corner of your stock as this is the default origin position. Once in position, we can fix the XYZ probe. You can plug the probe block into the side port of the spindle head on the Carvera Air, then place the block so it's squared up with the bottom left corner of your stock. You can then attach the magnet wire to the spindle. Ensure that the wires are hanging in such a way that they do not obstruct the movement of the Carvera Air or pull the block out of position during this movement. After putting all these items in place, you may need to readjust and manually move the head of the Carvera again so that the probing tool is aligned within the pocket of the XYZ block. It does not need to be perfectly centered or lowered within the block, just hovering above it. Now, once you've moved everything in the right position and everything's been connected, you're ready to start the XYZ probing sequence in the Carvera controller app. The sequence can be done from the config and run window in the controller app. Press config for your work origin, then select set by XYZ probe. Here you will need to enter the height and diameter of your probing tool, but the height of nine and diameter of 3.175 millimeters is the default parameter for the test probe shipped with the Carvera Air. After pressing OK, the Carvera Air will automatically lower and move the test rod to touch the base of the block, then touch the side and front edges in order to find the X, Y, and Z origin points of your stock. These positions are then automatically saved in the controller. Now, depending on your project and your design, you might be done and ready to start manufacturing at this point, but you may also want to offset your design inwards because this just determined where the absolute bottom left corner of your stock is. So unless you want a machine right in the bottom left corner, you may need to shift your design over a little bit based on this point that was just recorded. But this is easy to do because when the probe sequence is completed, the Carvera Air spindle stays at the XYZ position that was recorded during the XYZ probing point. In the Carvera controller app, we can then offset based on the current position because of course that current position is the origin point that was recorded during this manual sequence. This makes setting design offsets easily in the controller app if needed. And once your offsets are set, you can choose to use scan margin before running your job but you should not choose to use Auto Z Probe as this will override your manual XYZ origin positions which were previously recorded. And that's all there is to it. The Carvera Air Desktop CNC is a versatile machine designed to accommodate a wide range of projects and materials. For whatever the circumstance, these different methods for obtaining and setting your stock origins allow you to create just about anything suiting your needs and personal preferences. Thanks for watching and of course please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more how-tos and guides on our channel and wiki site.